Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. I guess it's time for another pendant. And look at this one. You know, I love the bling. But this one is superb. I'm just using a bunch of glitter on it. And of course, I added resin to the top. And uh, look at this. It is so pretty. And it is so simple to make. You will not believe how fast you can knock this one out. So let's get started. I do have scrap <clears throat> some scrap clay that I already ro rolled out. You can see it already has glitter in it, but it really doesn't matter. It's because I was playing with this one. That's what that's where I got the scraps from. But you just want to use scra some scraps that you that are darker that have black in it. You don't want any bright bright colors. And these are the three glitters that I'm using. You see the gold. This one looks it's called chestnut chestnut and espresso, but I mean this is your game, whatever you want, whatever colors that you want to use, go for it. And now I'll just start applying glitter to the clay, little by little. I usually don't use the shake, shaker part, but this is perfect. The shaker part is actually perfect because you want the colors to be overlapping a little bit. One nice coverage. And let's put the darker one. There you go. Now let's just tap those in and make sure that the colors that you don't have the lines. You kind of want to see the colors blended. And you're putting way too much glitter at this point, but that's okay. All right. So let's tap, tap, tap. All right. Where's my cutter? There's my cutter. And actually, I think I went too far. I want the darker one just a little bit closer. There. So let's just put the dark color in there. All right, I want to have all three colors in there. So I'm going to press and cut. Now, this clay I'm using for my next project. So don't throw it out. You want to have the clay with all the little glitter pieces in it. You can just pick the rest of that up. And we're going to mix it nicely in the clay. I already have next project lined up. So I'll put it on the side. And this is what I'm left with. This is what I'm going to work with. There you go. Look how pretty. Now, like I said, once you add the resin on, it just brings up the colors and it just makes it look so, so beautiful. Now, I have already rolled out black clay. And the toughest thing of it all is not to get glitter or try not to get glitter on everything else. Um, so this is kind of trying. I probably should not have picked it up, <laughs> but I have glitter all over my hands right now, so I don't want to touch anything else. But I want to add some texture to the bottom piece, and I got this as a Christmas gift from someone, <laughs> and decided that it's going to be awesome to use it in my crafts. So great texture with that. All right, so now let's just throw it on. Do you remember the part where I said that the toughest thing is not to get a glitter on everything? Yeah. Well, even if you do get a glitter on stuff, it still looks awesome. But you don't, definitely don't want as much glitter on the bottom part. Just shake it off, put it on the rest of my clothes. You can see right here, there is some glitter. You can see little speckles here and there, but it's not that much glitter at all. All right, so now I don't have a bigger size. This is the biggest size that I have. I have two smaller sizes than that too. So I'm just gonna have to freehand it. It usually is not a big deal. Kind of fun. Let's do that. Just do it in pieces. And then I'm gonna take care of the corners. And 
you can see that it's not perfect well we are going to make it nice and perfect well maybe not perfect but nice <laughs> and will you believe that this is it you throw it in the oven bake it and you will get this pendant you're going to put resin on it and look at that isn't it pretty so we are done with that one there's something else though i want to try really quick and i thought i'll share it with you guys i've never i really i wanted to try different colors i wanted to do like a sunset colors you can see okay let's put the black away so i have the yellow orange and red here and i also want to try it on two different clays and see how different they look on two different clays so i want to add the glitter to the white and to black and see how how they come out so let's do that and let's let's see how that's going to work for us and actually why don't i do it at the same time and we maybe we can see the difference how different what difference it makes the kind of clay that you're using down below or maybe we won't be able to even see the difference i don't know i really have not tried it so so again i'm going to put three colors i'm going to use this cut out here so i want to make sure that i put enough glitter to cover that size of a cutout all right let's do orange again colors should be mixing nicely i'm sure we're going to be able to see the difference i just don't know what the difference is and that's some more here and this here let's see what we come up with now there's only so much glitter that is going to get stuck to it the rest is going to want to come off but when you put the resin on oh my gosh i think anything with any shine you need to put resin on it just transforms the whole thing into something that you would not believe that even exists <laughs> all right all right let's see let's see what we got here oops too much i want the i want red okay so let's see what we have here i can already tell that the yellow looks completely different on the black clay like completely different okay and this here and we can see ah i can't believe i just did that Ooh, that's okay it's only clay right we can always fix issues here all right i can already tell how different it looks they really do look different one of my squares here so maybe we can see it better it's a little bit warm right now so boy oh boy working with the clay when it's warm phew, that's a different ball game okay all right okay so you can see that they are different can you tell that you can definitely see that there's black here personally i think if if i had to do that again i would use the the white one you can see how the yellow comes out completely different it's almost like green on the black do you see that i still think it's a fun pendant 
I, I really like it. So I'm going to throw it in the oven and I'm, gonna, I'm going to put some resin on it and I'm going to post it on my blog so you guys can see how that turned out. But meanwhile, this guy is going in the oven too and I'm going to put resin on it and this is so super fast. Such a, such a fast and such an easy pendant. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time my friends. Ta-ta!